Now that there was a fine piece of work. What the hell? <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Dusty Old Roses. A lot of you who may be watching this most likely know me from the Team Fortress female mods that I provided the voices for. Uh, female Scout, Female Spy, and Female Engineer. I've also provided a Machinima and a G Mod voice to Scout's mother, which thanks to so many of you has gotten a lot of uh, notice. Thank you. I also provide a couple voices for Octopimp, a wonderful comic dubber and an all-around fantastically talented person. If you've been around for more than a year, you probably maybe remember a little fundraiser I put together last year called An Unusual Christmas for Child's Play. This was a fundraiser I kind of brainstormed while I was at work, and immediately I knew I wanted to donate to Child's Play. Child's Play is the iconic gamers charity that spends a lot of its time and energy into providing toys and games and all sorts of fun media to children who are ill and usually hospitalized. They make it so easy for you to contribute and be a part of it, but I wanted to do something that was maybe a little bit more fun than just asking you to cough up your money for some charity that you may or may not care about. And so I welcome you to a chatty little Christmas for Child's Play. This is going to be very different than the last fundraiser I did, but it's going to run on the same mechanic. So everyone who's new to this, I hope you have fun and enjoy it. And everybody who was around last year to see Unusual Christmas, you're good. You already know what to do. You just got to do one less step. So let's get started. Over the past two and a half years, I have been blessed and humbled to be able to do what it is I love most, voice acting and to have anybody recognize me, let alone have so many people support me, truly being entertained by what I do and helping me at any opportunity that they could. So here's what I propose to you guys who've already given me so much. I'm going to start another chip-in for Child's Play. If you're not familiar with Chippin, I'll provide a link to my old fundraiser video that explains the process a little bit more in detail. But the basic idea is you get to donate whatever amount you want via PayPal or your own credit card account, debit card account, and Chippin acts as a third party for you and Child's Play. You'll donate your money, it'll slowly build over time until we reach our goal, and then at the end of the fundraiser, the entirety of what was donated, whether or not we reached our goal, will go over to Child's Play. Now this works out pretty well because Child's Play has a minimum donation of $5. If you don't happen to have a credit card account or you have very little money in your PayPal and you still feel kind of weird and you'd like to give even at least $1, with Chip-In, you can. You just put in the amount you care to donate, and no matter how small it may be, it would only be contributing to the larger sum that we're trying to get for Child's Play. This year, I'm setting the goal a little bit higher because I know I have more subscribers, and now I've opened up a Tumblr, so I'm hoping to get a little bit bigger of a signal boost. This year's goal is $800. It's big, I know, but if we don't reach it, it's fine. Any little bit helps. I've been donating to Child's Play ever since my first year of college, and it's stayed with me ever since I left. We all know that the basics like medicine and clothes and basic necessities that should be provided for people in need or people who are sick are important and very much appreciated. But sometimes it's nice, especially if you're a kid, to be able to have access to things that maybe your family doesn't have enough money to get you for Christmas. Maybe it's just nice to have someone who you don't even know think of you and want you to get better. Donating to sick children? Pfft. What the fuck's in it for me? Well, I'm getting to that, you son of a bitch. During this event, I'll be giving out customized voiceovers for anyone who donates a certain amount of money. A type of thank you. So here's the thing, I made up all these stupid little tears with stupid little names, so you get to know what you get when you get it. It's gonna be great. A $5 donation makes you eligible for this tier. A single character customized greeting, birthdays, holidays, special events, voicemail, or any other little thing you can think of that doesn't exceed 30 seconds, being done by one of the voices that I've provided in the past. The requirements for this gift are, it's one character that I've done before and it must not exceed 30 seconds. That's it. Otherwise, have fun with it. For an additional $2, making the required donation amount $7, you can have two or more characters interacting with each other in that same message. Let's move on. 
This gift requires a $10 donation. Now for $10 donated to Child's Play, you can request one of two things. Either A, computer startup, shutdown, error, and USB sounds, or B, cell phone text messages, ringtones, and alarms in any of the voices that I've done before. The requirements for this gift are, choose one character that I've voiced before, and you must pick either the computer set or the cell phone set. I don't like coming up with names. This gift requires a $20 donation. For $20 donated to Child's Play through the chip-in, you can have a minute-long scene, originally written by you or some other narration that you took from somewhere else, performed by myself, as many characters as you like, set to music if you choose, sound effects included if necessary, and it's for a full minute. For five more dollars, making the required donation $25, not only could you have as many characters as you like, you can choose any character from anything, and it can even be an original character of your own. I will attempt to voice it according to your directions within the scene that you provide. The requirements for this gift are, you must provide me either the original work or the scene you would like me to perform. The scene must not exceed one minute. If it's a $20 donation, it can be as many characters as you like, but they must be characters I've done before. For a $25 donation, the same rules apply, but it can be any character from anywhere, including an original character you made up yourself. Again, provide me with the scene, keep it under a minute. And of course, the super special, oh my god, what the fuck is this shit? I love charity, tear! With a single donation of $100, you can have everything I just talked about. That's the personalized greetings, the computer set, the phone set, and the minute-long scene. On top of all that, with a $100 donation, your gift will also include a song. I will sing for you. You pick the song and the character, and I'm there. What exactly do you have to do in order to get these gifts other than charitably give of your heart? If you are donating to receive a gift, please make sure that your donation is at least as much as the requirement that I just listed off to you for your tier. The deadline for the chip-in is December 24th. When you're donating to the chip-in, you'll be taken to a PayPal page, and this page will ask for your email. This email gets posted up on the contributors list of the chip-in. This email will be how I recognize you from everybody else and your gift request. This is very important! Once you've completed your donation, if you're expecting to receive a gift, you must send me an email to dustyoldroses at gmail.com with the following information. Your subject should include chatty Christmas for child's play. And your hot body needs to contain the details of your gift request. That means the character or characters that you are choosing to go in your gift, the scene you would like to have performed, the particulars of what needs to be said in your request, and the email that you use to donate with that is also listed on the contributors list. This way, I can tell if you donated the right amount to receive the right gift. Any emails I receive that don't have a corresponding email address to the contributors list, I will ignore. That should go without saying. On that same note, anyone who is on the contributors list who has not sent me an email by December 24th when the chip-in event ends will not be receiving a gift. I have no details. I can't make it for you. This is another reason that email is important because I'll be able to contact you and deliver your request when it's done. I can only donate less than five dollars. Can I still try? Well, of course you can. Any and all amounts are welcome and appreciated for the charity. The only difference being you're not going to be receiving a gift unless you A, donate a certain amount, and B, send your request to me via email. I don't really want or need one of the gifts. I'm just donating because I want to. Well, you're amazing, and that's perfectly fine. If you simply wish to donate to the chip-in with no gift involved, that's fine. The only thing you have to do is not send me an email. Oh my fucking god, here's ten bucks. Make Fem Scout say butt fuck me daddy every time I shut down my computer. I want Palm to use the end bad 97 times. Make the female engineer moan something about wanting to be defecated on. Whoa, 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 no. No. 
Now, as much fun as I want you to have with your request and as free as I want you to be, there are several things that I will outright refuse to perform for you. If you should send me a request for any of the following, the email will be ignored. Your contribution is greatly appreciated, but I shouldn't have to tell you that gifts such as these will not be made. Whether or not you decide to donate or for whatever reason you decide to donate, I want to say thank you in advance. This is going to a great cause and one that I've supported for a long time. And it means a lot to me that you'd want to help out at all. So thank you so very much for taking the time to listen. I hope your holidays are safe, happy, and healthy. Take care.